Yarmouth Lifeboat Station operates a seven class, the largest of RNLI lifeboats. This lifeboat covers the western end of the Solent, and each year during the Round the Island race, it's out on patrol, ready to go to the aid of yachts that may need assistance. The 2009 race had nearly 1,800 entries, ranging from small cruising yachts that might take 12 hours to complete the course, to top-class racing machines, which can finish in under half that time. These include BT60, with Dame Ellen MacArthur aboard, who's a friend of Yarmouth's coxswain, Howard Lester. Joining the patrol is the Lymington lifeboat, crewed by volunteers Simon Newding, Dave Mills and Ian Wood. The two lifeboats made their way to the Needles, where competitors can be caught out by submerged rocks and the wreck of the Varvasi, a 4,000 tonne merchant ship that sank close to the Needles lighthouse in 1947. Some competitors attempt to navigate between the wreck and the lighthouse, but this calls for highly skilled navigation. This yacht has just hit something very hard and the Lymington lifeboat goes to check crew and vessel are okay. Another yacht hits. Again, no serious damage is reported and the crew decide to continue with the race. As more competitors round the needles, the wind and swell increase. Another lucky escape. This time, a Sigma 33 has hit the wreck and stopped dead in its tracks. Once again, the Lymington lifeboat checks that all's well. No one's injured and they carry on. A yacht sends out a pan pan signal. The Yarmouth lifeboat receiving you over. Yeah, pan pan looking out, uh, Yarmouth lifeboat. Yes, sir, uh, due to the amount of yachts, is it possible to uh, put up an orange smoke over? Okay, he's bang on the nose on the DF somewhere. A crew member has received a head injury and needs medical treatment. Howard, it looks like it could be the black holds five degrees on the pull bow. The lifeboat's radio directional finding equipment and an orange smoke flare set off by the yacht helps the lifeboat crew locate it. Simon Newding and Dave Mills from Lymington administer first aid to the casualty. The, uh, uh, Roger, wait. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm yeah, she's, uh, she's taking quite a bang to the head. She's lost a little bit of vision. We've got some O2 on her and uh, vision is quite key to get her off. Uh, I don't know what the best way of getting her off is either with you guys or us back to Yarmouth or Livington. Is the helicopter still there, Warner Tom? That'd be the quickest way for her to get home. Take a Jervis, come back with you. The injured crew member needs to get to a hospital quickly, and as no helicopter is available, Cox and Howard Lester decides to take her to Yarmouth, where she'll be transferred to an ambulance and taken to Newport Hospital. Down below, the lifeboat crew attend the injured yachtsman. She's got blurred vision and is concussed. Their concern for her deepens. They need to get her ashore fast. But thankfully, two weeks after the accident, she made a full recovery. With the casualty now in the hands of the ambulance crew, the lifeboat heads back out on patrol. 
As they speed towards the needles, the crew receive a mayday signal over the VHF. There's a man overboard east of the needles. As they close on the position, the yacht reports that they have retrieved the man overboard. The wind continues to strengthen, gusting to 20 knots, which is good news for those well under control, but not for everyone. Uh, just south of uh, Marcos well, the Co. Another man overboard is reported from a competing yacht. Rob! Man overboard! Man overboard! Something more Now that's the guy letting up his smoke now. Yeah, it's in the water. Yeah, I reckon it was about one and a half, two cables from his position. That's the way it falls for lifeboat. Yeah. As the lifeboat locates the yacht, the crew member has been recovered and is getting out of his wet things. And yes, he says, I was wearing a life jacket. Position 233, 3.5 miles from Hanover Point. Second, 233, 3.5 miles from Hanover Point. The next incident is a reported dismasting. No one aboard is injured, and having secured the rig, the skipper decides he can motor the yacht round to Benbridge without further assistance. Sharking, sharking. Mayday sharking. Mayday sharking, this is Sean Tescott. Uh, Roger, what's the nature of the problem? The next Mayday Yarmouth receives is from a dive boat south of the Needles. A diver in the water is in difficulties and has swallowed a lot of seawater. The dive boat is 40 minutes away. The lifeboat heads towards it at full speed. But after communicating with the Solent Coast Guard, they decide to send a helicopter and the lifeboat is stood down. Ten and a half hours after going out on okay. patrol, the lifeboat returns to Yarmouth, where, after it's been refuelled, the weary crew gather together for a debrief. Lifeboat and crew are on permanent standby, ready to attend the next call-out at a moment's notice. <laughs> 